You see that up in the upper right? That's a thumbnail for one of my videos. It's it's really cool. You can see it right there. <laughs> Welcome back to Attack on Toys. It's one of the best green army men game out there right now. You ever watch the movie Starship Troopers? I'm talking about the original one, the only really decent one, and even that kind of hokey. Well, here it is. This is the fortress. We've got walls, which unfortunately have a giant hole in them. Ooh, a flamethrower. That'll definitely help me roast some bugs. This is our fortress, should we choose to protect it, and yes, we will. And we are going to be fighting these little critters. The only good bug is a dead bug. Oh my god, these things are strong. Okay, the cockroaches are no joke. I'm out of flamethrower rounds already. Oh, get out of there. They're going to eat you, man. But essentially, we have to survive against 10 waves of the bugs. So it's basically plastic troopers. What if green army men had to fight bugs similar to how humans had to fight bugs in starship troopers? Oh my god. My, my rounds are woefully inefficient, I feel like. We have a little bit of an outpost right here. And bugs are definitely still spawning. Ah, uh, that's an ant! Okay, they're not just all cockroaches. But it looks like we got multiple types of bugs we're gonna have to deal with. And I think maybe the first order of business is repairing this wall. We'll put a wall here. And then if I could produce any more plastic, plastic power plants. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, this thing is huge. This is gonna help me in the late game. Ha ha ha! Don't you love it? I'm gonna just create a giant factory that's gonna give me money throughout the game. Now, as far as defending the walls, I'm not sure if the bugs can climb it like they can in Starship Troopers. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? I mean, we just played the Starship Troopers demo recently on the channel. They had like three missions. It was pretty cool. Man, imagine like ballistas that shoot like plastic darts. Oh! Snipers are firing. What do they see up here on the walls? I love how our like little Huey gunship is out there. It looks like it's firing like unguided rockets as well as machine gun fire. Now it's just machine gun fire. Oh, there you go. There's the rockets or, or, or is that like flamethrowers? What is that exactly? There's a, there's a plastic sweeper. Okay. I think another plastic sweeper would be good because they go out and just pick up resources that are going to be dropped by the enemies so what we need to do is switch over to the infantry 500 bucks all right boys good luck don't get eaten by bugs all right we'll give you a few men to protect you there you go marines are outside the walls oh what, what? oh my god there's zombies okay there's not just bugs but zombies that's pretty terrifying oh and this is some kind of a healing station that's actually new i've never seen that before Oh, there he is. 51,000. Our little outpost is pretty strong. Look, I love how the guys start dancing or saluting, letting you know, hey, you did a good job. You survived. Now, what is that? There's something under the fort. It's a robot and a medic. I'm trying to tell them to attack. Yeah, now this is definitely blocked up. Now, I'm not sure. I feel like there's going to be hundreds, maybe even thousands of bugs near the end of it. Now we need snipers. I like how they shoot like when they're much farther out. You know, cause, <laughs> cause they're snipers and they snipe. Now there's no one up on this wall. Let's change that. I like how this tower has like extra big legs. We need, we need something like that over here. It does kinda, oh my gosh, I just realized the uh, blocks are spelling roughnecks. <laughs> Just one of the nicknames for the Federation Marines from Starship Troopers. Or if you just leave out the O, it's Runex. <laughs> 29 bugs, they say? Where are they? Oh, snipers are firing. Oh, movement on the right flank. Movement center. Movement on the left flank. Movement on the other left flank. I love it. Look at this guy. You're going to get eaten at some point. You know that, right? Oh, <laughs> fire ants. Yeah, this post is definitely going to get overrun at some point. Oh, thanks for the air support there, big fella. I always like games like this where, like, you can kind of just play the general if you want. You don't have to shoot them. Oh, God. Although, in this case, I think it's clear that we need to shoot them. All right, I'm going to go get ammunition. Yeah, so they just keep sending tons of bugs, but also the zombies. All right, so they keep spawning, like, we need to see where they spawn. Because if we can figure that out, we'll just put landmines in front of it. Maybe, is it, you think it'd be these holes that kind of... Are resembling of like ant mounds, right? Well, only one way to find out. Although, for whatever reason, the landmines are like sinking into the sand. 
So I'm just gonna plant like a million of these things. I mean, not a literal million because I don't have like eight years to do it. I wonder how long that would take. And they definitely beelined it over here, right? You know, I feel like the green army men genre would be a really fun genre to make a game for. What do you guys think? Like, Home Wars came out forever ago, and it was... There's a lot of unrealized potential there, and I think even Attack on Toys has a lot of the same issues. Oh, we got flyers now. Are those hornets? Or flying ants? Oh man, when you just spray, you're definitely not very accurate. Oh, heavy machine guns. We're gonna be on top of the fidget spinner. Uh, <laughs> it seems like a pretty safe spot. Uh, I know we put a lot of landmines out there. Oh my god, I've, I've sunken into the fidget. Oh, zombies attacking our little plastic guy, and I think he's dead. Yeah, plastic harvester guy is definitely dead. Someone just hit a landmine there, and we're down to three bullets. The helicopter just exploded? And the pilot turned into zombies? Who is shooting at me? Oh my god. There's a spitting spider. What the heck? I know how to deal with this. Get burninated! Oh my god, he's strong and the flamethrower is not- Oh, never mind. It needed to make kind of like direct impact. Okay, now I'm a little bit low on health, but luckily we've got the healing ray over here at this outpost. How many men have we lost? All right. I'm thinking what this outpost needs is maybe a mortar right here. Two mortar pits. Ha ha! I found the button to just call in the next wave. Thank goodness. Okay, mortars are already firing. I need to investigate. I need to find out where- where they're coming out from. Okay. They definitely look like they're coming out from the ant mounds, right? Hello? Any bugs? Yeah. They spawn in from around there. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, red ants, black ants. Oh god. Oh god. I- I- we're getting torched. Oh, everybody's turning into zombies! I'm out of bullets. We need more men. Oh my god, we need a lot more men. Okay. Actually... This is starting to look pretty dangerous. We need to get back to the fortress. The goal is to protect the fortress. It's only wave four. I kind of underestimated, I guess, just how potent these guys were at attacking us. All the infantry seem to move there. We need machine gunners. Heavy MGs on the walls, boys. More fire rate. And luckily we don't have to provide them with ammunition. And I'm thinking we might need, oh yeah. All these guys have died. <laughs> All the plastic sweepers. Now, I wish the AI was as such that they wouldn't go out during a battle. Like, in between waves, they would go out. Oh, hey, Mr. Flamer. <laughs> Got him. All right, there's one bug left. Yeah, in the AI, there's always, like, one thing that's hiding somewhere. And I I'm wondering, is it a pathfinding issue? Or is the bug intentionally trying to hide? There it is. <laughs> He's laying down. Don't lay down and get bit in the face. That's poor tactics, man. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me right there? Okay, our helicopter crashed during the last wave, so I'm thinking right now it's time to rebuild our air force. Because, like, you have to ask yourself, in Starship Troopers, what if they had air support, right? Actually, didn't they call in fighters to drop, like, bombs, I think? I think they did. So what if they had a more present air force? Like a Huey and a Chinook. There we go. Bring on the big guns, and we're just gonna go ahead and press play here to bring on the next wave. Now, everybody loves just crowding this side of the map. Guys, guys, hold on. Please, please don't do that. You're not... The bu The bugs are over here, guys. Oh, ammunition! Where did the ammo come from? Now, I'm wondering, how are they gonna kill... Oh, actually, they've got flyers, so that's the way they could kill our air force. So if the bugs happen to go on this side, well, then we've got problems. Okay. I think we need a few more snipers. Over here. There we go. Crack them, boys! Everybody else on our squad is an idiot. And, uh... <laughs> I mean, I don't know what that is. I don't know how to explain it. All I know is that's stupid. <laughs> Can I press P again to double up waves? That would be kind of cool. You know how in classic tower defense games, if you, if you summon the next wave early, you'll get a little bonus? I feel like they should be able to do that in this game, too. Look at these zombies. They can get shot so many times. Oh, that's a paratrooper. Guys, we have paratroopers coming down. Check it out, he's got like, they got the little... 
<laughs> they got little, uh, like, Sten submachine guns, it looks like. Or grease guns, I guess. And they got these little, like, hooks on their head. And, uh, parachute backpacks. Yeah, that's actually what we need is maybe another healer or two. We'll put a few healers in the base. They're only $1,300 for a medic. Oh, yeah, Bot Wars is getting medics and jetpacks. I'm gonna have to show that off to you guys. We're gonna be running a steam sale soon, too. Man, this thing has some serious range. Okay, even the newly placed snipers just... Uh, is, is there, like, cheeseburgers over here? Like, why is everyone going over here? You guys are really dumb. And, and you're disappointing me. At least you're in proper two-column formation. But uh, I've lost most of my defenses. What if we could put a tower... Oh, I can put it on there maybe no i can't i can put it here can this thing be tall enough to fire over the wall oh yeah i'd say maybe just barely and i'd like a machine gun like right here to protect this door in case they open it and this one too that's called the oh crap they've broken through the walls what do we do can i place these on top oh <gasps> Oh man, please, please, please. <gasps> yes! Okay, but I gotta put them in an out of place ways. So we're gonna test with these two to see if they're able to shoot at the bugs next wave, which is bum ba da ba bum now. And then if so, then we'll upgrade them. Now I wanna know. I wanna know. Tarzan. Alright. Oh yeah, these things are working fantastic. Da 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 Oh! Oh shoot. I mean, they haven't killed the tank yet. Yeah, you know how like in, uh, zombie shows and movies? Like, ooh! There's always like, everybody's running around on foot. Like, what if you just had a tank? What if you just got in the tank and battened down the hatches? And then like, how do the zombies get in there? I don't think they can. Oh my god, these guys are getting pretty far, aren't they? Alright, we need some bazookas. Hit them with the heavy rounds, boys! Did you just shoot the tank with your bazookas? Guys. This is not how you artificial intelligence. Oh my goodness gracious. Why? Why am I stuck with you nerds? Okay, we gotta get inside because we're getting seriously attacked. Luckily, we did make these anti-aircraft guns. I'm gonna see if I can't get one over here. Because we can't even put anything up on this wall. Come on, don't do the spawn point block shenanigans, dude. There's like a whole wall here. Oh look, look who's back. The entire army. <laughs> now, I guess in the middle of the wave is probably not the best time to upgrade your anti-aircraft turrets. But we need to get them all the way up so they have the four barrels. And maybe a few more mortars. Yeah, I'm thinking a few mortars. And we'll definitely upgrade these bad boys. So we're wave six out of ten. We're almost there. What's up? And what I love about these guys is when you upgrade them, they get little baby mortars in the back. Actually, in the front. <laughs> they had one, and now we're getting, like, three. See? Two? And then the upgrade mechanic? Three. Boom! And they're not upgradable any more than that. So that's as good as it gets. And unfortunately, I just can't seem to make these little installations. I really wish I could. There we go. Now we got a formidable base. Quad cannons, baby. Quad cannons. <laughs> I'm swimming. Can I upgrade that? I cannot upgrade that tower. It is massive. If there was a ladder, I could at least get up on it. I can get up on this one, though, because this one's fully upgraded. All right, where are the bugs at now? Do we have both the... Oh. I think the Huey crashed and the Chinook? I actually saw two Chinooks flying the other day in real life, and I've never seen them outside of, like, movies and stuff. But it also kind of made me eerie, like, where... Why are you trans... Like, are they transporting military soldiers around? Like, we're... I'm in suburbia. Fire! I mean, not the best bazooka around, but we'll do it. We'll take it. Oh, man, that outpost is just gonna get crushed. Yeah, these quad MGs are definitely where it's at right now. And the fact that all the soldiers are coming back. Oh, my God, they're getting in the base. What? How? I mean, they're walking in, so I kind of know how, but, like, what the heck? We need some eradicators. Flamethrowers. Don't let them through those gates. There we go. Flame is obviously very, very effective against bugs. Dude, this is kind of insane. Oh my god, now the zombies are here? Oh god, I think our people are dying, so let's get some medics. Medics and flamethrowers, that's how we're gonna hold this line. Oh, and you know what we definitely need, because they're probably all dead? These guys. <laughs> Shoot the zombies! This is not hard! Jeez, I mean, 
What is wrong with you people? <laughs> and now they're all dancing. You know, it's like the, the dude who like never helps with the class project and he gets full credit and you had to do his work. Yeah, that's that's how I'm feeling right now. Guys, get out here. Collect all of this plastic. Not that we need it. We have 230,000. I think for this next one. Oh man, can I place a tower up there? If I could get up here, I could probably pull it off, but I don't think I can. Maybe on top of this truck. This is what we need to do. We need to be cheeky at this point. Don't fight the feeling, invite the feeling. Let me do it. Let me do- Oh, I can put them on the rocks. Yes, I'll have one army tower on the rocks, please. Actually, make that like seven. I'm apparently trying to do a very terrible Sean Connery accent. All right, we got guard towers on the high ground. And I'm thinking, can we... No, I want something different. I want barbed wire. Yeah, barbed wire. Now, I can't see where it goes. They definitely need a better system of, like, interlocking stuff, I think. Oh, that thing's blocking it, isn't it? The little jack. Nobody even plays that game anymore. I don't even know what it is. Like, Jackson Balls? <laughs> That's definitely not the name of it. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was. Hey, Billy, what are you playing? I'm playing Jackson Balls. What is, what is that? I have not a clue. Heard this random dude with a terrible Sean Connery accent talking about it, though, and I had to check it out. Hold the line, boys. Oh, man, every soldier that was out here dead. You know what we're gonna do? Put more out here. You will hold this ground, boys. I wish I could play, uh, I want guys that, like, lay down landmines. If I, if I get the builder, he's just gonna start building random stuff, and we might do that on wave, like, nine, if we feel the need to. Yeah, you know what, you're gonna need some medics, too. You will, you will hold the line. All right, let's do it. We got perimeter guard posts. Oh, good, they're doing pretty good. Opening fire. We got barbed wire here to protect us. Heavy machine guns. Oh my god. What? Insect Han Cockroach? Han Solo the Cockroach? Insect Mark? Insect Abby? Fire Ant? A bay? Oh yeah, people are definitely dying to this guy. Okay. Oh god. This is... I'm pretty sure... Do zombies create more zombies? <gasps> they do! Oh my god! We just created the plastic army apocalypse. The tower just got destroyed? Okay. We gotta get inside the base. This is only wave eight. Oh my god. But now all the fire's opening up. This flamethrower's like, man, I'm gonna die if I stay out there. Look at this. I love the fact that zombies, like even plastic green army men can be affected by zombies. I mean, I think it's cool, but it's definitely proving to be a difficult challenge for us. Boys, it's hell out there. I don't know. I feel like friendly fire may have destroyed this. Oh my god! Okay! Everybody outside the base is now pretty much dead. How many men do we got left? <laughs> Look at all these plastic chunks. Guess who they were? People. I mean, plastic people, but still. People nonetheless. They were my friends. My compatriots. My brazi parusi. Brothers in arms. Isn't it? Is that how you- it, it, Who speaks Russian? Oh my god, things are just exploding. Como se dice brazi parusi? <laughs> We're almost there though, boys. We've almost fought all the good fight we can fight. That's good. And all of it. Did the tower back here die too? No, it didn't. Yeah, we're gonna need Air Force. Air Force... One. And by one, I mean like... <gasps> Why haven't we gotten Apaches? I mean, that's a... Like, come on, man. Apaches are better than Hueys. Alright, boys. You will be the Air Force. You will defend us. From all enemies, domestic and otherwise. I don't know what that means. Sometimes I just get excited and just say words out loud. All hippity bippity like. All right, Ap Apaches. Whoa, don't crash into each other now. Pfft. Yeah, that's definitely how you get a training accident. Where did everybody go? Oh yeah, they died. <laughs> Retreat. Bravely, bravely, bravely running to the base. Oh, I got, I got like a thousand flamethrower rounds. Burn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's the stuff, baby. Oh. Good lord. Good lord. These quad guns, uh, are definitely paying for themselves. And the mortars are doing their thing. I love the mortars, man. Oh god. Oh, that flamethrower, he is not gonna- He's gonna turn into a zombie, I think. Let's see if he dies. <laughs> oh, he's dying. Oh, he's dying! Yeah, he turned into a pink one, I think. So when you die to the bugs, you turn into... Zombies? Well, it's wave nine, and we're down to the last seven. I think we've held. So here's a challenge. Did, where, I only see two Apaches. How do they dis get destroyed? Oh, he's right here. <laughs> Never mind, I see three. This guy's just dead. 
We're gonna get window gunners. All right, that's it. We're going. Assault man. Hey man, that's illegal. I wouldn't recommend doing it. <laughs> they're like, I don't care. Sun Tzu said if I don't get caught, it's not against the law. The things you can learn. Oh, yeah, I need these guys to not disappear into the sand. It's like, this is like Dune. Oh, uh, I'm gonna stand. Luckily, there's no friendly fire. <laughs> hey, guys, <laughs> don't shoot around me, all right? No friendly fire accidents. All right, who wants to get burninated? Who wants to get burninated? Woo! Yeah! Oh, that guy's toast. Quite literally. There's only 31 left. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh my god, there's just so many bugs. Jonathan Cockroach is strong! Oh god! Sarge leveled up! What do I- what happens when I level up? Oh yeah, let's get up here with the healing rays. Roasted. Toasted. There's only two left. We've almost done it. Hunt them down! Do you see them? I do not. I hear explosions, though. Yes! We have done it! We have survived ten waves at Camp Roughneck, aka- Oh, that helicopter just blew up. I think after a while they just destroy themselves for some reason. And I just realized- Oh no, that's fireworks. Never mind. So because we won, we're getting fireworks. So what if Starship Troopers was Green Army Men game? Well, uh, here's your answer. But also, the other question is, what kind of Green Army Men game could we make? Because I'm kind of curious about it. So anyway, thanks for watching another episode of Home Wars. <laughs> Attack on toys. Pull the trigger on the like button if you do want to see more. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.